make sure you have at least a bachelor degree. But in addition to that, internships will really put you above and beyond your peers when you first get into the field. As a forensic biologist, you cannot get into the field without a degree. Because of our accreditation, most laboratories are accredited and you are required then to have a, uh, some sort of degree and the five class, the four classes that are required. Some other forensic fields, such as latent prints, there are personnel that have been grandfathered in by training through a police department, um, having been worked on crime scene and things like that, they have been grandfathered in, but DNA specifically or forensic biology, you do have to have a degree. I would say because you will come in contact with any bodily remains, bodily fluids, you do have to have some sort of stomach or resilience to be able to handle blood, saliva, and semen, also body tissues and remains. You have to be able to stomach a certain level of odor and then be able to work with human remains. Uh, you definitely have to have attention to detail for this job because the analysis and the interpretation that you do determines uh, if somebody is going to, for example, spend even life in prison or if they're found innocent. <laughs>